Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can generate YouTube thumbnails. And this is literally what I've been trying since the morning. And I discovered it in the morning and I found it pretty exciting. So I'm making a video on this. You can generate YouTube thumbnails using the Tally 3 feature on ChatGPT. So it is extremely simple. So first I generated this blog using ChatGPT where, you know, I have certain rules in order to make it optimized. I was also making a video on this subject which I had uploaded this morning and I wanted to get some thumbnail ideas you know I was basically trying to see if I can also use this as the blog cover image and you can see the generations that were done were decent right so the initial starting point was okay now the great point is not that it can you know actually generate thumbnails you can actually do a lot of back and forth and tell it to rate thumbnails based on the best practices so you can see when I told it to generate one more sample, it generated this image with before and after. Now, you know, I also wanted to add some sort of background. So it kind of added the background and added the illustration itself. I'm going to be showing you this hands-on demo in some time. So, but I just want to walk you through how these thumbnails are generated using the Dali 3 feature. Then, you know, I went ahead and gave it more feedback with respect to what I wanted to see on before and after and it fine-tuned it. So it looks pretty good. So you you know, you'd scroll through YouTube and you'd see similar thumbnails there. Now, it's not exactly to that point because the left image is way more noisy and distorted. But it can get there, right? So this is exactly what I wanted to generate. I liked it so much. The final generation was great. But, you know, I kind of also wanted to ensure that it would understand I was doing it for YouTube videos. So I told it to rate it from the scale of 1 to 10. And... Then it started generating and doing real great job, right? So it rated the thumbnail as 7. And then it started generating more thumbnails. You can see there is this one. This one is also great. These ones. And then I told it to rate these thumbnails again. It rated on 7.5, 8.5, 7 and 8. So, you know, again, because some of these thumbnails were less than 8. So I had this rule. If two of them are less than 8, generate 4 more. So it generated 4 more. Again, the same rule where, you know, it found that some of these thumbnails were less than it. And then I clarified that I was also looking to generate thumbnails for YouTube. So it rated those thumbnails and then it went ahead and generated four more thumbnails. And this time, because I clarified, it generated really good thumbnails, right? So this one I really liked and this is actually the thumbnail of the video that I uploaded. And then I told it to rate on a scale of 1 to 10. You can see the number set 2, which is this one, is rated as 9 and I liked it very much. This one is rated as 9.5 and this one also looks great. These are the similar thumbnails that you would see on YouTube. I actually like this one very much. Maybe I should have tried this one too. I'm going to show you in action how this is done. And I'm going to take this sample blog here, where I recently uploaded a video on how to generate AI transforming the world of comics. I'm going to copy this blog. And I'm going to add this in the DALI 3. So if you have not accessed this before, you should see this uh, option now if you have GPT-4 version. And we'll say, can you help me generate a thumbnail? All right, so the prompt is pretty simple. You would put, you know, what you want to generate and why you want to generate. You can also do it for your own social media posts. And then rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 for all the four images. This is primarily for us to ensure that we're able to you know, get some basic practices or maybe basic sort of generations out of the way. So we're telling it to do a really good generation that it would rate as a uh, for YouTube thumbnails. And the minute you paste or enter the prompt, it will start generating these thumbnails. And it takes a few seconds. So I'm just going to pause this video and come back when this is done. So it took a few seconds and it looks like we're there. And these are some of the thumbnails that are generated here. You can see this one looks okay. Again, this is not in the format that I'd expect it to be because this is primarily done for four images. So if you tell it to generate for one or two images, it will give you in this format. And the subsequent one again will be in the format that you'd want to generate. Or maybe you can give it a follow-up prompt saying that I want this for the YouTube thumbnail. So maybe resize in that format. I like this one very much. Right? So you can see this kind of signifies how you can use mobile to now create comics. This one looks great too, where you're leveraging AI to generate comics for you. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and tell it to clarify that for YouTube. 
doing for YouTube. So please ensure the sizing is correct. And that. So I've told it to generate the uh, thumbnails in the right sizing format. And these thumbnails should be great for YouTube. So let's see what it throws out now. We again can fine tune it more, but I'm just going to wait for it to see what kind of output we get. You can see the thumbnails that are generated now are in the format that we want them to. And I like this one very much. I mean, you can definitely use this for YouTube thumbnails. Obviously, this one isn't that great, but you can tell it to generate, make it look more comic, like with a face of the with the face of a creator that is shocked. So maybe, you know, generally all of the thumbnails that work on YouTube have the face of the creator, like my thumbnail, in which case you won't see any faces. But I'm just trying to see if doing this can change anything for me. Or maybe generate like a great thumbnail image for the... Let's see. So it looks like, you know, it looks like the thumbnails are now generated and these one looks very good, the YouTube thumbnails that you'd see. I mean, this one looks very, very good. Similar to what you'd see on other YouTube videos itself. I'm just going to give this a shot and see how it looks for my videos. I mean, not this thumbnail, but I'm going to give this thumbnail a shot for a few of videos and see if it works out. If you're watching this video with, you know, it basically means that you <laughs> it does work. So, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. I personally think this is great. Uh, because I don't have to touch any image editing tools anymore. So, great job. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you guys next one.